So fellas, so I made three videos about changing the pistons from the phenolic to a steel uh, piston in the aluminum uh, new edge calipers. And um, for some reason, I don't know why yet, but the, uh, the second two, I was holding the phone horizontal like so, but the video come out like I was holding it that way. I don't know why I did it. I don't know if I'm hitting that button twice when I push for record, but I, I'm not going to take the calipers all the way apart again just to show uh, that again. So uh, you still get the idea of how, how it works and what I did. And again, not that I did it the right way or whatever. The best way is just what I figured out how to do it. So just, <laughs> I debated on whether or not to even put the videos up, but like I said, it, I think it is, hopefully it will be helpful for somebody at some point. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it up there. And, I, you know, surprisingly, I even, even I do have standards on video quality, if you want to call it that. But uh, the main idea is not for entertainment or, you know, high quality, whatever. It's about getting the information out and sharing what I'm doing or what I know or whatever, you know how to do it so apologies up front for that i didn't like i said i don't know why it's doing it so i'll maybe i can figure it out at some point but uh just wanted to tell you up front so you're ready <laughs> all right appreciate y'all later so fellas smarter doing a caliper swap i bought these calipers they're from a really on the 99 to 04 mustang GTs, V6 cars, all that. They all got these. The reason I went with these on the red, oops, on the red car originally, is because they're a dual piston and they're aluminum, so they're like four pounds lighter than the, um, like the SN calipers that are uh, cast iron and a single piston. So I thought aluminum would be better. Well, it turns out the Phenolic pistons in the in these calipers tend to swell up, they absorb fluid, and then they'll get stuck. So what they'll do is they'll expand onto the extend out to the uh, brake pad, and then they won't contract. So that's why, if you remember, anybody's been brave enough to watch this channel for any length of time, remember the red car always tended to go drift to the right. Well, that was because the right front caliper was hanging up. And I had the same issue with on the trooper car because I had these calipers as well. <clears throat> so I ended up putting a SN style, you know, went with the steel ones that are kind of heavy. And so, uh, but now, like I, I'd read on a forum that these were coming with uh, that number, were coming with the steel pistons. So I thought, oh, that's awesome. So I went and bought a pair. And it turns out they don't really come with steel uh, pistons. They come with phenolic ones. Even though they're new, I didn't want to take the chance on using them. So, uh, but then I've heard or read that you can buy replacement steel pistons from Rock Auto. They're like eight or nine bucks a piece. And these were 65 a piece. And they come with the mounting bracket. So you don't really need anything. They come with the banjo bolt, the... Uh, those things, the clips, one in here too. So they're all pretty much kind of a bolt-on thing. But uh, I wanted to change them out just because, like I said, I don't trust them. I didn't want to deal with that again. So uh, I'm swapping out the pistons. And if I had three hands, I'd show you how to do it And as I'm doing it. But what I do is just put a piston in there to keep this one from extending. And then I put air pressure or on this one it's this one i should say because this piston here you can push out with a uh you can just use a punch and push it out but this one on this side you got to get it out with air pressure so you get this one out first then you can get this one out with a punch and i'll make it these out and i'll show you what it looks like when they're out of here all right you can see i got the uh pistons out the boot tends to stay on that's got a little uh raised part that goes into that cutout here at the bottom 
So what I did on the other ones, push the the uh, boot over the top over the top of the uh, piston, then push it down, and then you gotta gotta work this. <laughs> I guess it would help if I get it in the frame. Got to kind of work that around in there. I used a uh, jeweler screwdriver Phillips. Just got to be careful not to poke a hole in the boot. But it doesn't take much to get it seated in there. And once you get it seated in, uh, then you can push the piston down in there. And I lubed the bottom of it with uh, brake fluid. No prison style here with this stuff. It's kind of brakes are kind of important, so I wanted to make sure I do it right. I'm, I I don't know if this is the right way, but it's just what I found that works. Uh, first time I tried it, so uh, I figured I'd share it with y'all and uh, go from there. Hopefully, I can get these finished and then put on a car this week. And they're planning to go back up to uh, Atmo next Sunday, the what is it, 30th of April? Weather's supposed to be decent, uh, warm, but not terrible, like in the upper 70s, the way the weather fairies are talking about it right now. So, anyway. We'll finish this up and get her posted on the YouTubes. Appreciate y'all. Later. I just wanted to uh, kind of caveat that this, while it is kind of sharp, it's not like real sharp, but uh, when you put tuck the boot in, there's just like the last little, you can kind of feed all of it in with your fingers until you get the very last like little bit where it kind of bubbles up here at the end. Then you kind of, that's what I used this for. You ain't got to force it in. It tucks in pretty easy. It's just a matter of holding your tongue right and making sure that the boot is pushed all the way down while the piston's out of the bore because there's not enough room for that boot to go into the groove with the piston in the bore. So it's got to be before the piston gets into the bore. Then use this to tuck that last little bit of the boot into the groove. Okay. Just wanted to clarify in case anybody was getting worried about it. Appreciate you. Later.